They lay down outside police headquarters and marched up towards number 10. The messages in the crowd were mixed, but yet again, there were protests on the streets where many women do not feel safe. We deserve equality, we deserve safety, and this is what we're here to fight for. We should have the right to our equal rights, and the fact that they tried to get us not to protest is disgusting. Do you feel this is still about Sarah Everard? Yes, it did start out with Sarah, but it's so much more. It encompasses so much more. Not least of all, the power to protest outside Parliament at all. As inside, the Home Secretary introduced a controversial bill, which she framed as protecting women. Too many of us have pretended to be on the phone to a friend to scare someone off. Too many of us have clutched our keys in our fists in case we need to defend ourselves. And that is not OK. The policing bill does contain measures like stopping the early release of sexual and violent offenders, but it's been criticised for not going far enough for women and too far in giving police powers to curb protests, setting noise limits, start and finish times and preventing protests near Parliament. Unless there's action on homicide, unless there's action on street harassment, unless there's action on stalking, this bill will risk becoming an abuser's charter that just allows violence and injustice in our streets and in our homes to continue unchecked. It is all some contrast to the peaceful way tributes are still being paid at Clapham Common, as a whole country now contemplates. I just think that it's absolutely disgusting that we live in a society when men still do this, and that is so normalised. You never know when you're actually going to have to make a sprint home or change your route home. Like You don't know when it could escalate. So that's why we're always on our guard, because at any point it could become something so much more serious. But Sarah Everard's image is no longer the only one in mind, after police were seen to be heavy-handed at Saturday's vigil. Today, the Prime Minister condemned their response and promised to step up a gear, visiting a bus depot this morning, but later chairing a meeting in which ministers promised new money to protect women. In the immediate term, the Prime Minister really, really wanted to show that we are listening and that we want to act to help women feel safe in our streets, which is why this investment will go on very practical measures like increase, you know, better lighting, more CCTV, to try to give people that confidence. Tonight's protests ended with men being handcuffed. It's not clear that everyone here speaks for Sarah, but a movement made in her name continues to gain momentum.